everybody and welcome back today I'm going to teach you how to do assess a stamina system or a sprinting system using stamina okay so let's begin as you can see here I created another template the first person template because I just wanted to have this character here I deleted its weapon and the fire system so I don't have the guy anymore and all that stuff that I don't need to okay so first let's go into the project settings input action mapping go here and type here sprint or run here I'm going to type shift get left shift or if you want you can use other buttons as well okay now I'm going to go into my character here I am going to type shift actually no I'm going to type sprint so what this is going to do it's like an event tick but it's going to, it's only going to fire when I press shift the left shift left shift key okay so here on pressed we are going to need to set a variable but we don't have one so we are going to put here this is going to be uh, let's say is sprinting here drag pressing alt or just drag set make this true then go here copy it make this false okay then we're going to get an event tick get a branch and let's see if we are sprinting so if we are sprinting we are going to print a string called is sprinting if not actually no actually I'm not going to print anything if I'm not sprinting so sprinting not sprinting sprinting not sprinting okay so that is pretty simple right okay um, let me delete this and from here Let's get the character movement and set max walk speed. I think that this is the node that we are looking for. So what this is going to do is going to set the character walk speed. So if I get this, copy it twice, and if I put here zero and here let's say 600, I think that's the default value. So you see now I'm walking, pressing shift, and now I can't walk anymore that's because it's zero so my max speed is going to be zero always so let me put this here 1000 and now okay as you can see we are walking we are sprinting pretty fast okay so now uh, we need to set another variable we need uh, an integer actually Okay, so let me name this let's call it stamina here integer and we need to do a br no actually no branch we need to set a stamina integer minus integer get a stamina plug this in here and for and actually we need to compile and set the default value I am going to set this to 100 okay so, uh, if we are going to get the event tick again, it's going to get us here. Here, I'm going to drag a sequence, which is actually going to let me have more types of this node. So, these two nodes here are going to fire the same time. It's kind of like getting from here and just put everything in the same row but this is making the job a lot easier because if let's say we had here a delay then we would have to put the the thing that we need to let's say execute a command console command first not after okay so let me do that and here I am going to put let me see uh, yeah a uh, print string I want the print string here the duration is going to be zero okay and take the stamina and plug this in here 
So now we're going to see the stamina every tick, but uh, for zero actually for zero duration, and that's going to only be one time. And as you can see here, we can still sprint after the stamina is less than 100, and that's not what we want. So what we can do here is we can get this, and here we are going to need to add the delay, and this is why the sequence is good and and really helpful. Okay, because if you would not have that, we would need to put the print string here before not after here i'm going to put 0 0.5 let's see yeah this is pretty good but it's a little bit too slow so i'm going to make this a smaller number okay this is looking pretty good okay but you see we have 88 stamina right now but it's not going up that's because we haven't set it so i'm going to copy this but instead of having a minus here, if you are too lazy, you can just put a minus here because minus or minus is that's plus. Okay, as you can see. But in order to make sure that this is right, we need to add a plus here an integer plus integer. And as you can see, it's good. But our stamina is going higher than 100. That means that we need to branch this. So if the stamina is equal to 100 or more, so we get this integer higher or equal with, let's say, 100. So if this is higher or equal to 100, then we want to do anything but if it's not higher or equal that means that it's less so we can still add some stamina okay so as you can see now it's not going higher than 100 but if actually if i make this a little lower just for the tutorial here you're going to see that it's going with uh, negative values that's not what we want so here add pin and we need to do here a branch so if the stamina is lower or equal to zero so that is integer less or equal to zero then if it's true, we are not going to set is printing. Actually, we need to set it because if we are going to be sprinting when the value is going to be zero, that means that we can still sprint, but we don't have any stamina. So first we need to set it. And we are going to need another variable here. Let me call this has stamina. Okay, if I can spell it right. Stamina, okay. And make this a boolean and set it to false if this is false then we need to set it to set the has stamina to true and let me tell you why you don't set is printing to true as well because this is what makes our character able to sprint here so if we would set it to 100 to true we would be constantly sp sprinting as you can see and we could not stop and the stamina would not go higher so that's why okay and now let's check if this is working okay let me set this again to a smaller number okay so now you can see it's not going less than zero and that's just Perfect, that's what we need to. So, this is a pretty simple stamina system, but in a game, you would want to have, I don't know, a stamina bar, something that's going to tell you that you can run or you can't run because you don't have stamina. 
So let me show you how to do one of these. Here, blueprint class, go here, go here, and type widget. But I don't know if this is the one that we need. Actually, I think it is stamina widget. Okay, no, this is actually not a thing that we need. So delete it. Sorry for that. We need to go to user interface and widget blueprint. Here, stamina widget, as I said. Okay, so let's get in here. Type in the search palette. Uh, what's it called? Progress bar. Okay, drag one of these into your widget. Here, put the anchor to the bottom of the widget. Drag this here and let's make it a little bit bigger. Smaller. Okay. So I think this is good. Okay. So we can, I don't know, let's fill it and if we press play you won't see it that's because we need to go into the first person character event begin play okay and here we need to get a create widget which is going to create the widget on your uh, monitor but it won't show up until you add it to viewport and don't forget to set it here because it will give you an error so I have only one, uh, I have my widgets here, okay, compile, and now as you can see, there is our widget. But it's not working because we need to set a bind to it. So what we need to go is to go to the percent bind, create binding, and here we need to go to cast to first person character. Then get the player character, get player character. So what this is going to do is going to let us access the variables from here. So we can get the stamina in order to get the progress bar to work. So from here, get stamina and we will need this to convert to a float. But as you can see, it's still not working. And I think I know why. We need to divide this number by 100 because the progress bar goes from 0 to 1 but our stamina is from 0 to 100 so if we divide this by 100 integer divided by integer 100 actually this and then we convert to a float I think this is going to work just fine okay but now it's only working if it's 100 and if it's less it's going to be 0 okay so let me first change here to 0 0.1 and let me see why this is not working okay so let me see Okay, but what if, what is the problem here? Let me see. Okay, so I'm back. What was wrong here is that our stamina was an integer. I made it to be a float and now it's working fine. The problem with integers is that the integers are whole numbers. So here you see the percentage goes from zero to any number from 0 to 1 but our integers would go from 0 to 1 so exactly from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 with no decimals so that was the problem you need to make them a float divide them and then plug this in that was my bad and I'm sorry for that but now everything is working just fine and we can even stylize this so I have this photo right here, it's a PNG, we go here to the widget and we need an image, get an image, go here, click on your image, then go to the brush and click this. 
So as you can see, this is my image right here. So I think 40 with 40 is going to be good. Put this here, but unfortunately I can't make it blue because it's a black color and you can change the color only if it's white. Here you can see I can't change anything. And that's because of its color because it's black. So you need to have white images to change the tint, the color or whatever. And yeah, this is how the widget is going to look. You can still stylize the progress bar because the basic one isn't looking too good. You can, let's say, get a text here. Okay, make the anchor to the bottom of the widget. Here, put this just as it should be. Go to the text, create binding. Go here, get this and this. Copy them and paste them here. Plug this in here, this in here. And this is working. Okay. So this is pretty much all for this tutorial. I hope I learned you something new. I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't understand anything, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. And until next time, goodbye.